Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanted to help support this channel, it won't cost you anything. All you got to do is use the links in the description if you want to get any of the parts or tools I use in this video. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back with another awesome video for you. So it's summertime. The living's easy. You got to get ready to get all your grass and lawn mowing equipment and string trimmers and weed whackers and leaf blowers and all that kind of crazy stuff ready for the year. This is a GT225 from Echo. Echo is one of the best professional companies out there. You got Red Max, you got Echo, you got Toro. You got a couple different companies that the pros use all the time. It won't start and won't stay running once it is started. I'm not gonna even worry about going through and trying to show you because you put the choke on, you prime the bulb over there and then pull start it. And I'll do it 20 times, maybe get it running for a couple seconds. Runs for a few minutes and then cuts out. Obviously, it is the carburetor. Everything's got to get changed. This is an original Echo air filter. Original bulb and fuel lines and everything that comes in here. Choke actually snapped on it. This little button right here. And you got to dig your fingernail in there to get it going. And you could do it. It's not a big deal. But I ended up buying the housing anyway. The first thing you really want to do is obviously drain the gas out of there. We could actually take the gas tank right off the trimmer. You could use rubbing alcohol. I mean, you could use just straight gas probably like 93 octane. Just put a little bit in there, shake it up, clean it all out, and then just let it dissipate. Put it in a bowl and let it evaporate. You really want to get this gas tank cleaned out. Make sure there's no debris, dirt, any kind of thing like that in there. Three bolts or Torx bits. Believe it or not, I bought this a long time ago to take seat belts out of a car because I do car stereos. Uh, kind of an understatement. So you want to get yourself a T25, a Torx 25 bit to be able to use. Of course, uh, we could take our gas tank off. And the other thing, you got your lines right here, which go into the gas tank. These are all going to be replaced. So what you could do is just rinse all this off, wash all the dirt and dust and everything off and get that cleaned up. Next thing we're going to do, just unscrew the air filter. This is very easy to do. Just turn it to the left. Take this guy off right here. That's just a cap. And you can see this filter is really dirty and nasty and clogged up. Um, I just haven't had time with all the mowing of the grass and work and everything else. So this thing is shot. That's one of the reasons why... It's not working well, but that's not the only reason. So when you do this, a little bit of soap and water, just clean this out and blow it out with some compressed air or you know however you wanna do it, just make sure there's no water in there. Again, this is the housing that I was talking about, this black piece right here. That is the one that I have, the replacement to fix this choke uh, switch right here. Just pop these two Torx bolts out. They're gonna be the same size. They're much looser than the other ones. You don't wanna over tighten these and break anything but that's all it took to take them apart. Once you just break these loose, they come right out very easily. This is just what's holding the air filter onto the carburetor. The whole thing's gonna slide out. You could just take the top of the air filter off first. You could tell this is a mess. This carburetor's in really bad shape. Just gonna get all this dirt, make sure that doesn't go in there. Just kind of brush it out of the way. So at this point, you could either rebuild the carburetor or you could put a new carburetor on. Try not to let any kind of dirt or anything debris fall into this. Just take these right here. Okay, take the bolts out. Right here, we've got our carburetor, which goes onto the line. Every time you squeeze the trigger to make the trimmer run, basically all you're doing is just opening up the butterfly and letting more air in so that you will get more power. So just keep in mind here, this is how everything's adjusted. Uh, you're gonna leave everything the way it is. And we're basically just gonna transfer this over to the new carburetor. Here's the kit that I got from Amazon. And this basically has everything you're gonna need in it. They give you a new carburetor, two air filters, a spark plug, all your gaskets, and two new bulbs. This fuel line right here is what goes in here. So the fuel tank right here, and then it hooks up to the carburetor. So this whole kit by itself right here is around $10. Spark plug, two air filters, the whole carburetor, and all the fuel lines and everything. I actually picked this up from Echo, the original parts. You have your spark plug, your air filter, and a fuel filter right here. All this was very expensive. Just from Echo, it was like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. Well, I actually got all the brand new fuel lines with the yellow instead of the clear. Uh, this is all actually right from Echo with one of the bulbs for the carburetor. That stuff was probably 20, 25 bucks also. If you don't really care about it and it, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect back to factory, this should work great. This is basically everything for around 10 bucks. You can't beat this. Um, I bought the kit the O-rings and everything else, the seals, just to rebuild the old carburetor. And that alone was like 10 or 15 bucks from Echo. And you have to take the whole carburetor apart and rebuild it. And you have to be really good because these things are very hard to work on. It's all ready to go. You should basically just take this guy off and put the new one on. I mean, it can't get any easier than that. All you're gonna have to do is basically just unscrew this nut right here, take off the line, basically take off the cable, put it in here and then put this back on. What you could do is just take off your gas tank. Now I'm gonna leave this on just temporarily just so we know which lines. I'll show you that in a minute, but if you want, just get your adjustable wrench, grab the rigid line like this, 
put your adjustable down here on this nut and just loosen that up like so. Uh, once you do that, this is just going to come right out. And then all you got to do is pull this to the side like so, push this forward and it will come right out. And to get it back in, you just push it down and pull it down. So now your carburetor is basically disconnected. There's three, but you really only use two. So this goes to the side, that doesn't do anything. You are basically going to connect the clear fuel line to the left side where the bulb is and the return line over here. Just pull that off, pretty easy to do. Now save this if you're gonna be replacing the whole carburetor because these are about 70 to $80 just to buy one. Very, very expensive. You don't want to lose that. This goes into the motor right here, so you just want to clean this up. Just make sure no dirt or dust or debris gets in there. Here is the bottom of the carburetor. The carburetor goes on the trimmer like this, but what you're going to want to do is when you put the gasket on, make sure the gasket is facing this way. Here's the new housing also to replace the old one. If you remember this piece from before, same one we took out of the old one. I'm going to put those bolts right through here. Okay, once we got that, just hold them steady like so. Make sure you put the switch same side as the bulb. Here is the gasket. And again, I'm gonna be putting it on this way, away from where the throttle cable goes. That's all you gotta do. Once you have this all set up, you can just take this, flip it over, just hold this gasket. Gravity will hold the bolts in and just make sure you put it directly into the trimmer like so. Tighten that up, a couple turns, three little quarter turns, and it's nice and snug. When you turn this like so, there's gonna be a big opening on one side and just a small opening on the other. You know, those pliers will make this a lot easier. Just put the cable inside, this little flathead right here, and just turn this like so. And as you're pulling the trigger, it should line it up on the trigger like so. Just take your little flathead screwdriver, just push that in and you are good to go. And that's all, that's all you she wrote. So once you got it like that, of course, like I said, much easier way to do it is to do it while the carburetor's off, but I just wanted to show you that you can do it while the carburetor is still on. So don't adjust this nut right here, just loosen this one right here. Basically all you gotta do just take this and kind of get that in there. Just grab the pipe like so, without pinching this wire. Take your adjustable, just turn this nut. There it is. Pull the trigger right here for the speed, and it's working. So we are good to go. Again, I'm not going to be reusing this, so I'm not worrying about messing it up. It's okay. Just going to pop that out. Then the fuel filter should come out. And there you go. So if you want to clean it, you can just take a little bit of fresh uh, 93 octane fuel, just put that in there, swish it around, dump it out, and let it evaporate. If you're having a really hard time doing it, as it is very hard to do, what you could do is just push down very hard on the one side, get the left side in, and then as you're pushing down on the right, just kind of help it along with the needle nose pliers, and it will go in eventually. So now that you've got all the lines in like so, everything is set up. It's a little bit difficult to film and do it at the same time. Take your left line and put it on the left side right here and push it all the way down. Put the black one on the right. Now that the fuel lines are on, left and right, uh, yellow's on the left, black's on the right. Just put the gas tank back on, get those three bolts from before. One, two, and then the third one's up here. Tightened all three of these down, one, two, three, with the Torx bit and quarter inch ratchet. They are nice and tight. We already changed the air filter, changed the carburetor, all the fuel lines. I'm just gonna do that last step and take the boot off for the spark plug and put on a new spark plug. Why not, right? We already did all this. So just pop that out. There's the boot. As you can see, the spark plug is in pretty bad shape. Not looking good. Hasn't been replaced in years. So got the brand spanking new one. Just gonna pop that in there. Just go ahead and thread it in by hand very gently. Once you thread it all the way down, you can tighten it up. Once we're done with that, take the spark plug boot like so. Just pop that right back on. So here's our Echo GT225, all rebuilt and ready to go. New spark plug, new air filter, new carburetor, new fuel lines. 
gas tank all cleaned out, this thing should start right up. Uh, the final thing I'd like to mention, if you're gonna go through all this trouble and rebuild everything and take care of your equipment, I would use True Fuel, and this is a 50 to 1 mix, ready to go for two cycle engines, ethanol free, really good stuff. It's all I use in any of my lawn equipment. It's very, very expensive, don't get me wrong, but the beautiful thing is it does not eat through the fuel lines, doesn't gum up your carburetors, and it just works really, really well. No misfires, no popping with the exhaust, and it just starts up every time, works really good. You don't have to spend a lot of money on maintenance on your equipment because this stuff is just so good. Really good progress this year with the lawn. So this is what it looks like. Can't wait to do some edging with this thing. Uh, first things first, make sure you have your safety glasses on. You don't want to lose an eye. Make sure the choke is set to cold start. Push the primer bulb eight times. Thank you so much again for watching this video in case you needed any of the tools or parts that i use i'm going to leave all the links down in the description and if you can make sure to click that like button subscribe to my channel for more awesome content let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section down below thanks again for watching take care